Hey everybody, this is Wizard 100 you're the viewers and I'm the reviewer. So, recently Nintendo sent me a very special message inviting me to go play the new Super Smash Bros. game. The demo, that is! The special demo! Because it's special. Special Beam Cannon! Because Nintendo clearly knows who Wizard 100 is by giving him the special codes and to the people who are also Platinum members on Club Nintendo. Uh, I'm not special, alright. Okay, so that's how I got my copy, along with three other codes to give to people to play. And they must all be used by September 19th, which is when the official demo comes out. Hmm, I could give it to my fans and subscribers for early access, but be patient. You'll eventually get to play it, just not as early. By the way, the game has an unlimited play session, which is good because I always thought that the play limit is really pointless. So the game opens up with the roster of characters that are in the game. Wait a little longer and you have the usual tutorial. Okay, at the menu we only got two options available for us to access. Smash and the games and more. From my speculations of the locked out options, there's online so we can play online, hopefully better than Brawl's online which if you remember was very slapped on. Smash Run, which seems to be collecting power-ups to fight an epic battle as stated on the bottom screen. Challenge, which is where we can win prizes by taking on, what else? Challenges. Whatever they may be, hopefully it's more than just trophies and stickers. The Street Pass feature, I suspect you collect Street Passes and fight other players controlled by a computer and if you beat them, we'll win some prizes. Reminds me of the Street Pass feature in Link Between Worlds. And last is the Wii U. It seems Nintendo either smart enough to let us be able to crossplay on the Wii U, or I might be mistaken. Before we start on the menu, let's take a look at the other options we can access and see what else we can look at. Well, there's not much to access except for the vault, which I'll get to later. We can't access solo, groups, or custom. What the hell? At least give us the option of customizing the means that you advertise so we can at least get a better sense of what to expect. And hey, replay value with customization. Worst part here is that the options is locked out. What the fudge? I wanted to mess with the options, such as changing my controls and such, and you won't let me do that? Anyways, the vault leads us to six options, one of which we can actually use, which is tips where we can get hints about playing the game. The others just consist of records, such as trophies, replays, and records that we can't access. Ah, if you haven't noticed on the bottom right are the coins you earn from matches. Probably for trophies and perhaps items. I wonder are they going to let you keep those coins you get in the demo for the actual game. Alright, finally, let's smash, which lets us play solo or group to play with friends, which should keep you distracted for quite a while, but we have no control over the rules, which is the two-minute match rules. Wish they gave an option for stop matches. The only characters we can play as are Mario, Link, Pikachu, Mega Man, and the Villager from Animal Crossing. Now, even though we can't play the other characters, being a demo of course, we can see the other characters we can play when the full game releases. Okay, the only stage we can play is Battlefield, and an interesting feature is you can switch from normal to form, which changes the stage layout. I choose to play Battlefield in form because it's a flat arena and no items. Basically Final Destination, no items. Now, if you haven't played Brawl, the movesets of Mario, Link, and Pikachu have not changed much, so I'll leave them out and talk about the new characters. I have to mention that I flubbered a lot while playing this game due to the somewhat awkward button setup that I can't change and the fact that my A button is not very responsive, so my opinion on how the new characters control may not be very precise or I'm just talking out of my butthole. X and Y are jump buttons, B is the special attack button, and the A button is the regular attack button. I would have preferred setting up my button layout with X as my special button, my Y as my attack button, and B as my jump button. But I can't do that now, can I, Smash Bros. Demo? I mean, who the hell has their attack button on the far right side? But moving on... Okie dokie. Mega Man's fighting style consists of him using Robot Master weapons, so his moves are a little varied. He's a little tricky to play, being that his special attacks can only be on screen one at a time, and my A button really got in the way of not responding when trying to attack. But I imagine if I can change my controls... I could do a lot better, but so far Mega Man's fighting style is okay and his final smash is pretty damn cool with all the Mega Men's blasting. The villager from Animal Crossing, I don't have much to say about how he fights except that he has a nice moveset that I like despite the button layout, so I'm probably going to be playing as him more. Also, playing Smash Bros on a small screen, it's not that bad, but I definitely prefer playing it on the TV screen. Also, controlling the characters with the circle pad is okay, it's workable, while the D-pad taunts as usual. 
I just can't believe Nintendo didn't let us access the options to change the button layout. I wanted to change the button layout! I wanted to change the button layout! But overall, I think the demo is not too bad and definitely leaves a lot to desire for. The game looks great and the gameplay is pretty smooth, and it sounds pretty good too, so I'd say there's a lot to be excited about, which will probably make you want the full game. This should hold you over for quite a while until the game gets released. I'm probably not going to get the game because of that problem with the A button I'm having. But I hope you got something out of this video. This is Wizware 100, you're the viewers and I'm the reviewer, so stay tuned for more. Oh, Mega Man, you bastard!